Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Echo and welcome back to another live episode of my Clash of Clans series. Guys, if you are new to my channel, thank you for subscribing. However, start out with the previous episode last week because a lot has happened from last week's episode. In last week's episode, we finally upgraded my town hall from level five to level six. And I also have four builders available. We may try and work on getting the fifth one, but 2,000 gems is quite a lot of gems and it's going to take an extremely long time. So as you guys can see, I have been kind of inactive this week. I'm extremely sorry I didn't bring this episode yesterday. I had some sad news uh, with a friend's uh, grandparents. But I'm back here today to bring you this video. And basically in today's video, we are going to be making a new base. Now I did find a tutorial on YouTube, which I will be watching and kind of placing the, uh, the stuff down when this video goes along. If you guys want to check out the base as well, I'll try and link it down below. So we've got a lot to do, guys. And I've also got another achievement here. Upgrade a gold storage uh, to level 10. Now, the reason why I've been upgrading my storages and stuff is because I am going to try and max out everything again. If you guys have something specific that I should focus on, should I focus on upgrading like mortars, walls, etc., leave a comment down below. I'd also like to point out that on the news, there's currently the Halloween special, um, and you will notice a lot of things around uh, my base that I'm yet to remove, which I will, which I'll link to Halloween. Some of them I have seen from past updates, but some of them I haven't seen. It just says, Happy Halloween, boost your spell factories for one gem each throughout Halloween weekend. Unfortunately, I was hoping for a one gem boost on like um, your elixir collectors and your gold mines, but... <laughs> They weren't going to be that kind. So yeah, let's check out the designs. As you guys can see here, we have a pumpkin mushroom. We have a normal trunk. Uh, we've got like a Halloween scary tree. What else? Do we, oh, we got. We actually got a gem box there. That's pretty cool. What else do we have around here that's linked to Halloween? We've got more bushes there. Oh, we'll take this. We've got a bush which is linked to Halloween. This, the Halloween cauldrons. I'm not sure if these are new. But I don't entirely remember these, uh, but it looks pretty awesome. Hopefully it's going to be very similar to a gem box. And you can get quite a lot of gems from it. And we've also got normal trees there. So main thing for the day is I want to quickly get rid of all of these. And then we're going to focus on upgrading my base. Um, and also guys, thank you all for being super active in this clan. A lot of people have started to donate. If it's going to load for me. Let's just quickly close that. A lot of people have started to donate more troops. Now we kind of do have a minimum of around about 300 per reset only because I want people to be active in the chat as well so yeah that's what we're kind of doing we're gonna end up with quite a few gems here let's just let's just remove all of these then I'll remove the cauldron on its own and see how many gems we get from that but yeah I know you guys really do enjoy the series so always be sure to thumbs it up because the support really is awesome so let's hit this and let's see let's see what this called 30 seconds for the removal of a cauldron. Alright, we can probably get rid of these in this time as well. Let's just get rid of them um, while we wait. I got a feeling that it's going to be a, a lot of gems. That's what it feels like it's going to be. Because I've never seen them before. Hopefully, they're, hopefully there's something special. Alright, we've got 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1... Oh, okay, 75,000, like, that was like 75,000, like, experience points. That was a lot. That was crazy. All right, well, that's still pretty cool. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna complain. I thought that was still pretty awesome. Um, it kind of makes sense. It was like an elixir cauldron. Let's just get rid of all of these anyway. So we have 50 gems. I am gonna try and build up my gems a little bit more. There's nothing specific that I need to waste my gems on. Probably builders. You guys do tell me to focus on builders. But even right now, we're low level. So too many builders. They're good. However, I feel like we don't exactly need them right now. Um, we've only got a few more to get rid of anyway. And then we can focus on building my base. Uh, I just need to make upgrade it. Because having two walls together like this doesn't really work for me. And then we can focus on what we need to upgrade. So... Let's just get rid of these last two. We've got 25 gems from that gem box. That's not too bad. We're close to another 100 gems, which I will keep. And maybe I can spend them on a couple of troops. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do kind of like a speed build for my new base. However, I will link the tutorial I'm using in the comment section down below in case you guys want to have a similar base than me. Uh, but let me know what you think about the base in the comment section. And I hope you guys enjoy.
Alright then guys, so this is the base I have gone for. Leave your opinions guys, rate this base from 1 to 10. Let me know what I could change or what I should change in this base. Uh, a few more things that I want to do in this video is, uh, maybe I want to start a war, we're going to actually start a war. Uh, hi, I love your videos, I'll accept you. Can I, there we go, I tried to accept you, won't let me. Um, I don't have any wizards, we are going to do one or two attacks. I think that's definitely, definitely something I can do. I've already got, I don't know how many troops I've got in there. How can you check? I've already got, all right, that'll do. I've got 10 of them. So let's do an attack, then I'm going to focus on a few upgrades, and then we shall, then we, we should, we should uh, prepare for the war. So that's something I'm going to do. So, let's, uh, let's do an attack. I don't mind uh, removing my, my timer. We want to try and find something with a decent amount of gold and a decent amount of elixir. Now, what I have noticed with my clan, or should I say, what I've noticed with my account, is that a lot of people have been taking a lot of gold and a lot of elixir from me. So I kind of want to change that. I want to try and, um, like be a better defense. I know wars are really important at a lower level, but we've got a lot of things that we can upgrade. So let's just hope that we can find a decent base to raid. I only have archers and barbs mainly, so I wanna, I don't wanna, I, I gotta be really careful what base we do attack. I will happily take anything over 50,000 gold, 50,000 elixir, we will take it. We currently have a lot of elixir, so it might be worth me upgrading a few things in today's video that are linked to elixir. 46,000 gold, 19,000 elixir. I don't know where all the bases are. I mean, we're all the, like, these are all poo. They, they suck. They really do suck. There's got to be one dude with a decent amount of elixir and gold. 4,000 gold, 27,000 elixir. It's not good enough. See? Why am I getting all the lower bases? It might be because I only have around about, I think I have under, there we go. There we go. This is what I'm talking about. Let's, um, let me just put one troop here. That's why. And then... Can do this. Boom, we're in. Alright, we're gonna put this here. I'm gonna send the I'm gonna send this here. Alright. And then I'm gonna send these first. Try and get as much gold and as much as much gold and as much elixir as we can in this one. I mean we should be okay. I think we've gotta be okay. Like for sure. Get rid of those wizard towers, we should be good. Alright. Now it's time to focus on the gold. So that's a pretty good loot. We, if we can take if I can take a good proportion of this gold and elixir, I'll be happy. 200,000 is available. So I'm not gonna say no to that. That's a pretty good offer, you know? We've taken so much. We're, we're gonna rinse this guy. You're gonna take everything that I can. Plus 17 trophies as well. I'll take it. Let's just hope that it doesn't take out all my troops at the same time. Uh-oh. Alright, splash damage did a lot of a lot of work there. However, we can still take a bunch of elixir here. Keep going. Alright, let's just see how much we end up with here. We're not gonna end up with too much. Uh, actually, actually my other archers are breaking in now. We're probably gonna take a, as much like we're gonna take so much gold. Come on, We've, there's so much more elixir available. No, no, I'll take it, I'll take it. We've took the majority of the gold that we could have took. We took all the gold, 200,000 gold that we've just stolen from this guy. I'm happy with that, that's pretty positive for me. Two stars, I'll take it. That is a lot of gold and a lot of elixir. Thank you very, very much. That guy's definitely not been playing as much as he probably should have been. Um, um, Echo, can I join? There we go. I'll accept you. Can I join? I'm a fan. There we go. That'll do. There's two more people have been added to the clan. Um, I may as well, while I'm working on this, I may as well keep focusing on them upgrades. We have a lot of gold and a lot of elixir now. Now, people tell me that my splash damage is always important to upgrade. So, I think I can... I'm going to upgrade one of these. My mortar. I'm definitely going to upgrade my mortar. I, I'm getting close to having enough for this. How much... Let me just stick this here. 40. You know what? I'm gonna just work on spending. I'm not gonna waste my gems. I don't I don't really need to waste my gems. The other thing I want to upgrade is definitely upgrade this. And I definitely want to upgrade my um is that only a level five? Yeah, I may as well upgrade that as well. What I bet I'm best off doing here as well is upgrading this. I think I have another one of them as well, so I'm gonna upgrade these to full capacity. Because we're gonna need to. Same with this. I'm probably best off selecting the row. Upgrade, 
upgrade. It is expensive. However, if it's if I get it done, it's it's done then. I'm not gonna have to worry about that. I should get these upgraded as much as I can. So that's a pretty it's uh, we spent quite enough. We spent quite enough. Anything else that I can upgrade right now? What about these? I don't think I can upgrade them. I don't think there's anything else that I can technically upgrade unless it's with elixir. So what is worth me upgrading with elixir? We could probably up that's level 10. I'm going to upgrade this because I can afford to. So we, we're pretty much done there. So I think I'm going to conclude today's episode there. What I am also going to do now as well is I'm going to grab a bunch more troops. We're going to take five of these as well. I'm going to grab 20 of these this time. Because they, they, we need the golden elixir. And that's what we're kind of focusing on. I'm also going to grab about five of them because they are much needed as well. Um, and then the rest are going to be archers and barbs. So let's just grab uh, 50 of them. And then the rest can be these, I guess. Yes, that kind of seems okay to me. I also want to see what we can upgrade inside here. Now, I may as well upgrade it. I may as well, we've got enough. Level 3 wall breakers are inbound now. So, last thing I mean to do, I don't have any troops to donate, unfortunately. I have donated a bunch, but right now I don't. The last thing I want to do is start a war. Now, a lot of you guys do tell me that I should do the smaller wars. So, I can select either 30 or 35, and we have 33 currently in. Now, I'm not hating on you, but you're a very low level. So, I'm going to take you out. Um, anyone else who's not playing, who's low level, um, who's in the clan. Just because you're new, I'm just going to take you off for now. Don't be offended if I take you out, it's just so we can start the war. That's all it is. I, I want to try and balance the even levels, you see. So I'm just going to do this, and then we're going to simply start the war. So, again, if you guys can't do war, then opt out. You can simply opt out by going to your info, and then as you guys can see, clan wars, opt in or opt out. That's how you do it. I have 944 trophies. The next gems I get is 450, and it's that one, which is uh, achieve 1,250 trophies in multiplayer battles. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. Hopefully you guys do enjoy the base. It looks a lot different. I feel a little bit more secure. I'll let you guys know over the week how I get on in terms of defending, because recently, well, as you guys can see, my defense log, I've been so much has been stolen from me. So hopefully this is going to hold out a little bit longer. If you guys did enjoy this video, as always, be sure to thumbs up. Have an echo. Have a great day. And as always, I'll catch you next time. Bye.